read this. Uh, pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted by a remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so in the following manner by emailing Steve McCarthy at McCarthyS at AmherstMA.gov. That's M-C-C-A-R-T-H-Y-S at AmherstMA.gov. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the town website an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. And with that done, we'll do a roll call of attendance. Uh, Hallie. Here. Gaston. Here. Doug. Here. Dylan. Here. And I am here, so we're all here. Um, and we'll call the meeting to order at 6.02 p.m. Um, public comment. Is there anyone here? Not public seeing comment. Any no, we have no attendees. OK. Well, um, so I know it's been a while, so why don't we just launch into our discussion items. And Steve, you said we don't have any new licenses this time, but perhaps next time. Yeah, we did get a couple applications from UMass for one days for uh, later in the year, I think April, early April. Um, so those are still going through the review process. So those should be ready next time. Okay, great. We will look forward to that on the 21st. Um, so the first item for discussion on the agenda is meeting time. And we all made this meeting. And uh, I think I just wanted to reconfirm that it was Mondays from six to eight. The second, was it the second and- First, first and third? First and third Monday um, until Doug, Doug's Tuesdays free up. Is that correct? Is that what everyone has? That's what I wrote down. So we have um, the 7th and then the 21st of March, and then the 4th and the 18th of April. Is that correct? Is the 18th a school holiday? It is. It is. So Doug, when are you think that the Tuesdays are going to be better for you? Well, that 19th would probably be free. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, everyone... Let me look at my calendar real quick. And, okay. Uh, Actually, what I should do is look at the school committee calendar. So that's what I'm going to do first. I may or not not be here on the 19th or the 18th. How you been, Dylan? I've been good. All things, all things considered. Okay. All right. Good. Anyone see the uh, the black bears are back in town? They, yeah. they were like up to near our house maybe like three weeks ago. I just saw them. Uh, I just saw them on Cottage Street a little earlier today. The, wow. uh, the Cubs are almost full size now. Really? Wow. I really want to see them sometime. But is one of them still injured? Uh, I didn't even. I didn't notice. Um, I wasn't looking for it, but they all seem to be walking normal. But if I was okay. looking a little harder, I might have noticed. I think it's pretty noticeable. So maybe they. Maybe it healed. Well, on a different note. <laughs> so, I think that um, so school committees meet in April on the uh, Elm always meets on Wednesday, so that's not an issue. Um, University is meeting on the fifth, and Reach's meeting on the twelfth and the twenty sixth. I would suggest that the uh, by the twenty sixth. So that would be, I don't know if that's the third, because uh, if we have to shift off the vacation week, because the 18th is a, is a um, Monday's the holiday, Patriot's Day, I think, and then, uh, so if we want to avoid that week, or if that Tuesday doesn't work for people, then that following Tuesday, the 26th, I think it is, I cert I can do, I think. Okay, so we could just do the fourth and then the 26th maybe and i mean yeah. I, i'm okay with monday the 25th I, I mean monday the 18th what we have now i don't right i don't i i mean uh, I, I don't have to i mean i don't if i'm gone i don't have to be at the meeting if everyone else is here and there's a, a quorum for i am here on the 18th but not on the 19th i will be at harry potter world oh. for you fun yeah 
Uh, we're just ripping that Band-Aid off. <laughs> where, where's Harry Potter World? Universal in Florida. Okay, so oh, fun. Uh, you, you really you think you can do a meeting the day before you fly? Yeah, I'm only taking okay. two kids, so that'll okay. be fine. All right. <laughs> I, um, I can do Tuesdays in general, um, but if we were to switch to them to consistently, because right now I'm doing Tuesday nights, I'm actually bartending in Northampton. Um, and I could do Mondays instead, but it would just need to be a, a consistent switch. If we were to switch to Tuesdays, I can kind of do one or the other consistently, but. Uh, well, so, we, so it's so, Monday, the 18th, the holiday. So is that Steve? It's yeah, the day you don't what, technically work. Or something? So maybe we should move to the 26th that then. Yeah, that's fine. Let me double check that. I'm not sure if we actually have that day off or not. I know UMass is closed, so I assume that you've got. I would be surprised if you didn't, Steve. Yeah. As a taxpayer in the town of Amherst, you're welcome to come in and do extra work for no pay. <laughs> <laughs> the 26th is fine for me. Um, Dylan, what bar are you at? I'm over at Fitzwillies right now. Fitzwillies, okay. Oh. Tuesday nights. Are they? Uh, is it? Is it getting getting busy Tuesday nights? Uh, no, Tuesday nights is uh, fairly quiet. I'm just doing uh, just doing some training over there with them. But the uh, it is getting busy at Fitzwillies now. Uh, it was quiet for for the pandemic, but it's uh, looks like it's picking back up to normal. So okay, the pandemic keeps easing. So did you say down that the 26th is not good for you? But Tuesday. Uh, correct. Yeah, okay. Tuesdays. Uh, Tuesdays aren't good for me. Um, in general, unless we wanted to all shift to Tuesday, then I would change oh, it okay. to do Mondays and then could do Tuesdays here. Okay. So I think for me that it just to speak to that point about the Tuesdays, you know, once we get to that that point in April, I think I can go to Tuesdays from that point on. So if you want to do it, you know, on that 26th or you want to wait till we go into May, I'm open to either or. So I think it's just a question of giving filling enough lead time to switch the schedule to from Tuesdays to Mondays. At so, you're the fine. so following, so just to clarify, following the, the 26th and following, you're fine on Tuesdays? You're open? Okay. And everyone else is okay with Tuesdays except for Dylan. What, so I mean, is, we... is this enough notice for you to make the switch? Yep. Yeah, I can make that 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 switch. So then at, at that point, we will be Tuesdays consistently, correct? That's the idea? Yes. The yeah. first and third? Yes, the first or, and third Tuesdays, except for well, the 26th, which we're making up from the week before. And so then we will do two weeks in a row if, if we need? Yes. Or since there's five Tuesdays in May, does it make sense to do second and fourth in May? Um, I don't know the answer to that question. Steve, you have an opinion? What do you think, Steve? Yeah. Um, I think that makes sense to keep it alternating. Um, I mean, really, I can make whatever work. It's no, it's no, no problem for me. Um, I do think we will have some applications coming in for the outdoor dining. So um, having just something I can, I can count on as a schedule will be helpful. But in terms of days, it's you know really whatever works for you guys, I can accommodate. Well, okay, so how how have... about we just go to second and fourth starting on the on April twenty sixth, second and fourth Tuesdays. Second and fourth Tuesdays. So instead of the fifth, we do the twelfth and the twenty sixth. Oh, uh, so I, I was I, I I was assuming we're going to start the. Oh, you mean what? You mean May? Because you. So we well, have... right. So switching the eighteenth for the twenty sixth, and then May forward second and fourth. For okay, for tenth, and then the twenty fourth, and then. And then we stick with that the fourteenth and the twenty eighth of June. Is that all right with everybody? That's great. Okay. All right. Did you get all that, so, Steve? So we're looking at 326 is the next meeting. 320. No, the next one is 321 is the Monday. 321. Okay. I guess I get a little mixed up. Okay. Sorry. So the next one is March 21st, 321 at 6. And then we go to. Um, or four. The 4th, April 4th. At six as well. At six. And then we skip to, then we move to Tuesdays. And we go to April 26th, 426 at six.
and then and then, have, and then uh second and fourth tuesdays from then on out yes and then may All right, 10th, perfect and may 24th yeah forgive my loud type and trying to uh take minutes on a different computer here so <laughs> Okay, we all set? Sounds good, I've got that down. Okay, perfect, thank you. So meeting time, done. Um, discussion item B, adult use marijuana regulations, done. Yeah, I don't really have any updates for anybody on this, I'm sorry. Um, I think what I need to do is, is give it one more read through, make sure it's all set. And then I think the second piece is, um, to uh, look at the creation of a bylaw, which would be a, a, actually that may have to happen first with the council before we adopt the policy and the, and the uh, regulations about how to get the license. It has to be something that exists. So I'll do the um, review, you know, sort of final review of, of those regs. If anybody has anything that they thought of or, or if they go back through them and have any comments, please forward those along. Um, but that would be the, I think the next steps on that. Um, okay. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions for Doug? No? Okay. Um, lunch cart regulations. So um, I was in touch with Mandy Johanneke uh, at the town council and of the TSO committee about um, where they were at with the um, changing the regulating the bylaws, granting the Board of License Commissioners authority to license lunch carts on the sidewalk and on the street. And in December, the town council passed part of that half of the legislation. So it's half done. And we now have the authority to grant licenses on sidewalk lunch carts. And she's gonna bring it up with the town council meeting tonight. She couldn't make the meeting because she has another meeting and um, see if when they will be discussing and granting us authority to license lunch carts on the street. So as soon as she lets me know, I will pass it on and um, send another draft of the lunch cart regulations. So that's where that's at. That's all. Okay, great. Um, guidelines, regulations for liquor license decisions. I have it printed and ready to do one final proofread with a pen before I mail it off because I always miss stuff if I do it on the computer. Okay, super. Thank you, Hallie. Any questions? Nope. All right. Um, license fee comparison chart. Gaston. I'm, uh, uh, I, I haven't made uh, progress since we uh, spoke last. Um, so I need to, uh, I need to schedule some time for that. Um, okay. Thank you. All right, thanks, Gaston. If yes, I may, we... oh, go ahead, Doug. I was just going to say, you know, this this begs a question a little bit. Um, thinking about that and our comparison to other towns, because what you had gathered to date was it was interesting the the breadth of uh, choices towns have made relative to their rates. I think that begs a question about what we would think would be an appropriate license fee for adult use. And, and I think the, the other thing to keep in mind regarding adult use, I mean, there's the, the sort of retail sales that we have now, and that's what's covered under the regulation. But I think what's coming that we want to be thinking about and getting prepared for is, is <clears throat> if the state allows social consumption in you know, facilities, you know, uh, cafes or whatever, um, sort of, I mean, I think there's a, a lot of wrinkles still to go on that. But I think thinking in terms of what's the right level of, of license fee for all of those is, is something that kind of meshes with with what you're looking at on those those rates. So I, I just want to put that in people's minds to think about. Thank you. And um, how can we get feedback from from the town about? I mean, I know that we're not fundamentally a revenue generating commission, um, but any decisions we have, you know, would have a, a more or less impact on the town budget. And I'm, I'm wondering uh, how we can kind of get feedback to inform our judgments about that. Well, Gaston, I could certainly, much like we did with the, um, 
the reductions in rate for liquor licenses last year. I can run that up to um, the finance director and the town manager and ask for their feedback. Okay. Um, and um, I know they've been taking a look at a lot of things recently, so I'm sure they'd be able to slot that right in and um, okay. <clears throat> consider some things. I mean, it might be, be good for us to kind of, you know, set a, um, I don't know about, you know, concrete you know, we could we could look at concrete proposals for particular free changes, yeah. or we could say, you know, we think this should be lower, we think this should be higher. Right. Um, you know, whatever you feel like um, would be appropriate based on the review. Yeah. Um, I was also going to mention earlier. I'm actually going to be working on a little project to take a look at some of the um, coin operated device prices around the state too. So, um, you know, we could we could we could try to have a little meeting at some point, phone meeting, and kind of just go over what you found so far. And and I'll you know if I find anything else when I'm doing that, I can send it along to you as well. I'm smiling, remembering in high school how I, I reached out to a coin op uh, guy who like just put some machines in the school and I was collecting half for a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Dylan. yeah. So do we, uh, Steve, the, the money we do generate through um, the licenses, does that just go into some general fund or what is... Um, and do we know how much we are generating through fees? Doug's nodding. So um, my, my impression is yes. And he would certainly know better than I would. Um, and we would have, um, yeah, I mean, I did have to just do a report for the state on the total liquor license revenue. I don't have that available with me, but um, I could send that along and everything else. I mean, I think it would just be, um, you know, multiplication. You, we could probably, could probably calculate that figure. Yeah. Yeah. I I will say this uh, regarding the regular budget, you know, it is part of a broader group of things. If you were to look at the budget, look at the revenue sources, it's lumped in with all the other sort of miscellaneous income. Um, but, you know, every little bit helps. Um, and it's, it, you know, the thing is, if you think about our license, I mean, it's like 3,500 for, for, I mean, our liquor licenses generate a fair amount of revenue. I'm not sure our, you know, live entertainment licenses at five bucks a pop are really, you know, generating much, but nonetheless, uh, you know, it's it's some money. It's not a ton. It's part of the general support, so it is general fund revenue. But it's it's a factor. I mean, it, you know, if it went to zero, or if it, if we decide to slash the rates on a bunch of these things to hundred bucks or something for all of them, it would be a significantly and you know uh, significant hit to the to the to the revenue and would be noticed. Um, so we want to be, you know, we don't want to gouge people, but at the same time, want to kind of factor in what yeah. that's helping support. Because it does, I mean, you know, for example, you know, police are our sort of agents in the town. And so, you know, passively, it sort of funds some of the police department. And so the fact that they cruise by and do certain things or do ID checks or do some undercover stuff, you know, that's part of why we charge, you know, as much as we do for some of those licenses, because they kind of pop in and do that work. And it's not an explicit sort of one for one, but it's just part of how they, that whole budget gets supported. So. That's part of, I think, the thing we want to go through when we're evaluating our, our revenues on, on these and is what are, what are the ways in which those funds are supporting, you know, our, our town budgets and. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, I mean, when, you know, I think we, we, we were struck by some of the discrepancies on the, on the big ticket items on the liquor licenses. And so it would be useful when we're actually talking about it to have a simple spreadsheet so we could enter numbers and, and you know, have a, a reality check at the budget level. Okay, anything else on license fees? If not, um, oh, topics not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to the meeting. Is there anything? I have nothing. No, Steve, no, nobody. All right, um, Review of minutes. We do not have review of minutes this time. So we move on, if there's nothing else, to adjournment. Is there a, a motion? Quick, oh, quick yeah, question for, for Steve. Any, uh, any update on if we're going back in person anytime soon? Are we still doing remote? I have heard nothing on that front. Um, as of now, we're still full masks in town hall and everything. So I don't know if the town's making any, any kind of moves on that anytime soon. I have a small bit of info on that. So yes. the Board of Health meets on Thursday this week, the 10th. Uh, and then they'll, you know, and they'll review the current, you know, uh, um, indoor public spaces mask mandate. Um, so they'll probably, my guess is like everybody else, they'll make some decision about ending it, changing it, that sort of thing. But 
um, until they do anything, we're kind of, if we wanted to meet in person, we'd have to be masked. So, and, and we're still allowed by this, by the state to, to meet remotely until, did that get extended through the summer or is that, it was an April deadline for that, but I think they've extended that, haven't they, Steve? I believe so, yeah. Till, so we have, I think we may have the option, but I think the Board of Health meets Thursday and I think that'll be helpful as far as understanding what the direction is that, that they're going. That'll be good to hear. Yeah. My, my, my understanding, I think, from reading the news is that the, the town council itself is divided on the, on the question. I don't know. I, don't know. Yeah. I guess we'll find out. Right. I mean, if the Board of Health says we're going to continue with the mask mandate, it doesn't matter what the council thinks because it's. And I sorry, I mean, I mean the, the the on the on whether the council wants to meet in person or not. Oh oh oh, I understand that. Yeah yeah, on that question. Okay. Yeah. We'll see. All right. Okay. Um, anything else? At all? All right. Um, is there a motion to adjourn? Doug? So made. Second. Second. Thanks, Dylan. Um, I guess with no further discussion, we'll take a roll call out of here. Uh, Doug. Aye. Dylan. Aye. Kelly. Aye. Gaston. Aye. And I vote aye. Um, we're adjourned at 6, 6 22 p.m. Thanks, everybody. Pleasure to see, you, see you all. Thank you very much. Yeah. Look with your own March Madness brackets. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. All right. Lucky you as well. Bye. See you later. I'll see you on the 23rd. Bye. 21st. Bye.